here we are with Edge Runner episode 4. So yeah, if you like what you see, leave a like, subscribe, or comment. Let me know what you think. And that was that. Let's get to the episode. What is going on? So I guess they are on a mission. Some shit went down. Barrett is screaming in his ear. And then he uses his speed power to maybe get everyone out of the explosion. It's my guess, maybe. Hmm. Interesting start. All right, let's go. Is this afterlife? Yep. Oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> Watch where your hands going, big guy. Okay, here we go. Mm. <clears throat> okay, he wants more experience. <laughs> and there's so much dialogue going on 
that it's hard for me to talk. <laughs> because I have to keep up the whole time. <clears throat> but I can't wait to see like more spots like Afterlife maybe that we can recognize. Oh, hello. Nice outfit. New hands, and that's her brother. <laughs> I like her. He wants more. Dimples. Oh, Lucy, let's go. Free tonight, every night. Different outfit. <laughs> I would too. <laughs> Just shove it over to her. You do something with him. Jogging? Training? Gun training, let's go. Yeah, like I said, he needs a gun. <laughs> uh. <laughs> In his face? Yep, in his face. It's in the name. <laughs> and he took her in. So handy. Oh, there's her. I forgot her name. Because it's been like two years already or so. <laughs> Almost two years. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> training in the shower. Mm -hmm. Oh. <laughs> Driving training, gun training. Oh my God, the poor car. <laughs> So I guess we see the beginning of the episode at the end of the episode, I guess. Oh. Hmm. 
I guess true, right? Oh, hello. God damn. Yeah, she doesn't like that. Oh. Yeah, he gets a bit touchy. But she doesn't like that. And obviously David gets interested, right? Because he's interested in her. <laughs> Come on, dude, don't lie. Not yet. We all know that David is interested in her. He can't lie. Yep, we know this bar, this disco, with the mocks. Gun training? Ah, uh, yeah. I guess the death of his mother is still hitting him hard. She has three breaths? <laughs> and they got wired, dude. <laughs> Man, I love this so much. Slicing people's arms off with the wires. I mean, I guess maybe she meant it because, because she liked him, I guess, a bit somehow, in some way. And I mean, she said that she didn't took anyone to it, right? So I guess she meant it, right? Oh. I would want more hand holding from Lucy. <laughs> New lungs. Uh. <clears throat> oh, only a year so far. I guess so. But can backfire, right? If someone just infiltrates you, maybe? <laughs> That's the stuff.
Man, his long arms are so weird. We never, we have never seen something like that in the game. He's glitching. Oh, what? Is it maybe a cyber psycho? Or something else? Try to shoot the next one. Ooh, okay, he didn't save them. He got kicked away by Barrett. Cyber Psycho. I guess she's pissed because it was her brother. <laughs> she got blasted away. <clears throat> and he's malfunctioning. What happened with her? She got fried? Speedy boy with a gun. Can you do it? Do it. He did it. That's what I'm talking about. He needs a weapon. Oh, ho, 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 ho. coming in clutch. Dude, one shot wasn't enough. Indeed. He's like, dude, what are you coming to me all the time? Fine. Nice view. Oh, what is it? Hell yeah.
<laughs> yeah, he wasn't really. I would say. Here we are again. Make a name by how you die. Oh, yes. <laughs> Hell yeah. That's what I like to see. <laughs> because she likes you. God damn, dude. <laughs> Okay, that was the episode. Let me know what you think. But yeah, first of all, I had to rewatch the whole episode <laughs> because um, this anime for me is very hard to do because, like I said in episode one in the introduction, I loved Cyberpunk. I played it for like 200 hours, had a great time. It had problems, but I still enjoyed the shit out of it. I had so much fun in it. And so I love the Cyberpunk world. And... Here we have the anime that is basically the same world, obviously. We see same locations like Afterlife in this episode and other stuff. And so, the thing is, I want to pay attention to the backgrounds to see if I, to see if I can like remember some of these locations, right? Um, and there's also so much dialogue going on in this show because they talk so much, scenes change so quickly from one background to the next background because they have they have different locations and everything right and like the montage uh, montage when they were like doing when lucy and david did like the running thing right the training and then you get like all the other shots the other locations that switch rapidly while having all the dialogue going on and so it's so much stuff going on for me because i'm not a fast reader so keeping up with the text alone and trying to pay attention to the backgrounds and to the different locations we visit here is hard for me already and because i'm doing reactions i feel like i have to say something i have to react to it obviously right and so doing all that is hard for me that's why i'm often sitting here when i watch this show and just try to keep up with everything that is going on and trying to understand everything that is going on because i feel like i have to pay attention here because like i said they talk a lot and it helps to get a better understanding of the characters right um and so yeah i I feel like I sometimes don't really react enough, say enough, because I just try to keep up with everything. And because of that, because I'm having such a hard time and even sometimes miss something because I'm not fast enough at reading and stuff, I that's why I have to rewatch the whole episode and basically reread everything that was said in the whole episode. Um, so yeah, this is like one of those animes where it's like, where, where it feels like very hard for me. To do reactions for because like i said it just it keeps so much it's so hard for me to even keep up with everything and paying attention to like the backgrounds and everything and the different locations we visit um but yeah um let's get to the episode um like i said at the beginning i thought maybe that he slowed down uh, he slowed down time shit went down explosions and he maybe uses his power to get the others out of it 
wrong <laughs> big wrong but yeah um that was the beginning and then yeah we start with afterlife first big location i would say that we i feel like this is like in the first four episodes now i think that's like the first big location that we can really recall from the um show uh, from the game right because afterlife was a big part and then we saw the bartender which was claire i think was the name claire russell and then also like yeah the person that is like the owner of the bar basically which uh, which is rogue right uh, the somewhat girlfriend of johnny silverhand more or less and so yeah nice little bits from the game right that you definitely can recall when you play the game and yeah we basically get <clears throat> It was, a, it was a nice episode because it really had, like, for the most part, feels good vibes, right? You see this whole thing, basically a montage about how David slowly but surely gets used to this life, right? How he gets along with the others here in this group and how he wants to become better and because of that he wants to do jobs, like, which is in this, some little errands he's running, right? He went to this one guy, um, Aldo, I think was his name. Um, where they had this limo thing going on last episode um, and grabbed some yeah some stuff for pillar which was like the guy with the long limbs with the long arms and yeah that was basically new hands for him an upgrade golden ones and we found out that becca is a sister it seems like and i like becca she's funny i, I think i i really something i really like about the show is how um expressive it uh, expressive it is expressive it is thank you um like the whole when we brought the package to pillar and the dialogue and the back and forth between pillar and becca while pillar wasn't even really on screen it was just funny how expressive they are how they talk to each other i really like the ex expressiveness of the show and how they talk sometimes to each other um it really gives you this feeling of like yeah you clearly can tell that they know each other for a long time the way they talk to each other right it feels just like how you would imagine maybe in a word like this how good friends would talk to each other right and how things would go and then yeah um <clears throat> main the barrett guy obviously because he i guess he doesn't know what to do with david right right now right because david wants to do more stuff and wants to get better and he's just like, okay push him over to someone else that someone else can deal with him and do something with him keep him occupied and in this case he pushed him over to lucy and lucy did some training with him to get like fit right and then we saw some different things like training and driving right getting better at driving uh, which main teach him and then some gun training with becca because she's like <laughs> It seems like she's like a weapon, a weapon expert, right? When it comes to guns, she's using them all the time. And yeah, it was just, like I said, it was a feel-good feels good episode because it just... I like to see how they get along and how they do all this stuff together. And it really gives me the feeling that he really set, uh, settles in with his new family, I guess you could say, in this. And it was just nice to see, in my opinion. And then, yeah more talk with lucy where he asked her about what was kind of going on last night when they had like the celebration for the limo miss um, mission job whatever um and she's like yeah yeah he gets a bit grabby right he sees himself as a mentor and gets a bit grabby and yeah just overall very nice i liked it and yeah obviously we saw lucy or oh, also naked <laughs> I don't remember exactly why she was in the bathtub. I think the bathtub thing is when you go into the cyber world, I think. Because there is like the normal world, obviously, and then there's like the cyber plane, basically, where you are digital, basically, I guess. And when you do this, like when you connect to, to it, in the, you have to go into the bathtub with the ice inside. Um, if you do it because it's so stressful on your body and you just heat up because basically there's so much technology in you i think that all the technology just heats up super uh, a lot and so you get into the ice water to keep your body cooled right 
because otherwise it's just it's deadly for your body and i guess that's what it was all about they used her lot i think to get into the cyber space basically and to hack something right um and that's why we saw her naked which was a nice touch and obviously long limp guy pillar got grabby again and she shocked him again <laughs> and yeah then basically we saw some uh, some in between gigs right where we had like these uh what were they called again i don't remember how they were called in the game we had a similar mission where we um for what was the name i don't know how oh, i don't remember her name the one chick from the one arasaka chick i think where you had to go to the oh storm something storm wasn't it storm um let me let me check uh cyberpunk uh, storm wasn't it storm something um uh no no i guess not oh what was the name again mission uh bot mission where you where you get the one spider bot yeah meredith it was meredith doubt that's the name uh, and yeah you go to these dudes the guys um Meredith. i want to i want to mission oh uh, that's at what i want to know what the name is of those guys maelstrom maelstrom not storm maelstrom um, but yeah those guys and uh, we had this in this episode too kind of like not the same obviously but like we had some guys that looked like maelstrom that had like all these completely cybernetic faces on and all that stuff um which was super fun i guess it was very nice it's, it's like more stuff we know from the games there are so many locations that look similar like also um the apartment the house where Lucy lives um, very much looks like the place also where Judy from Cyberpunk lives, right? And it it's not the same, it just look, uh, looks the same. Also, the other mission where uh, David got hit in the head, also that place looked very similar to like one of the first missions in Cyberpunk where you find the one corpo lady in the bathroom, right? That got like an overdose or whatever. Um, from the um, layout it looks the same right so those are like some small nippets i would say some uh, not nippets like some small bits and pieces that look the same as in the game of locations you wear and that's super nice to see i would say and then yeah we had like the whole end scene which was like super crazy with this one cyber psycho shooting pillar in the head i guess he's dead right seems very much dead i would say i mean his whole head got blasted off and so yeah i guess i would say probably the main part about it is like what that scene was supposed to show is that david jumps in for lucy right i mean like she said she would probably jump in for anyone right and try to help but I guess he definitely would always do it for Lucy because he likes her. Which is also like a, a funny thing when um, Main said like, here, you're interested in her. And he's like, nah, I'm not. And he's like, dude, we all have eyes. <laughs> and he's like, yeah, okay, but she's probably not interested in me. And he's like, yeah, probably right. But I mean, we know that she's interested, especially now it's the end of the episode. And yeah, he jumped in because he wanted to help her because she almost got blasted away and then we see how the whole end scene basically which i think was very nice i mean the scenery was very nice and yeah basically confirmed that she likes him which is very interesting because it's kind of like love at first sight right because she only saw him in the train spent like a bit of a day with him right doing some stealing pocket uh, pickpocketing and then just already likes him so much that he shows him the moon bd that she didn't 
talk to anyone else about, right? So, I would say that's kind of like, maybe not necessarily love at first sight, right? But like, she likes him. And it was just nice that she's like, yeah, don't die on me. And he's like, yo, I won't. And that he's like, I will get you to the moon. It's very nice, but it makes me also very anxious because... Like I said, this episode for the most part, except for what happened to Pillar, felt very much like a feels good episode to me, right? There was so much good vibes going on for the most part that it's that this really seems like the, a new family for for David, right? And so I have the feeling that at some point shit will go down and then maybe they will all die. Kind of like with in Cyberpunk when Jackie died, right? Which was basically also family. We had like at the beginning the montage how they how they lived and how they got along day to day right and then you go on the mission and he dies so it, it felt feels good and then shit happens and people die i really hope that at least lucy and david get to the end of the series of the show and have a happy ending right but i would say that's what i hope for but i think everyone else could probably end up dying. Do I want that? Hopefully not. But I can't see it happening because this is can get pretty dark, right? Um, so yeah, I mean, I'm talking now for almost 50 minutes, so I think I leave it at that. I think I called, I talked about pretty much everything at the beginning. Uh, the montage where we basically see how he settles in with with the new family, friends, family, gang, whatever, and we saw the afterlife and everything. We saw like some mini gigs and we saw that he got training and then the end scene basically uh, where Pillar died and then the scene with Lucy and David. And I mean they kissed, I mean that was very nice, I loved it, I love to see it. And yeah I mean I, I just can't wait to see more about it right. I love the character so much already, I, I love the quality of the I mean the quality of the anime is really like you either love it or you hate it it is a bit rough around the edges at some uh at some parts right um because of the art style but quality wise I would say it's very good I love it I I think it's like very good and like I said I love how expressive the characters are and everything so yeah I just can't wait for more and see how where it's going especially like David and Lucy right so yeah, can't wait for more. So if you like what you saw, leave a like, subscribe, or comment. Let me know what you think. And I would say thanks for watching. Until next time. Bye bye.